Hello everybody, today I'm gonna to be trying to film some of that Swiss wildlife. Now, I've never actually filmed wildlife before and I have no idea what I'm doing. But uh, I came up to the two Meaton Mountains. This is one of my favorite places in Switzerland. These mountains are just so beautiful. And I actually proposed on top of the bigger one, the Grosser Meaton. If you're visiting Switzerland and you like to hike, I think hiking the Grosser Meaton is a great option. Now, oftentimes when I'm hiking up here, I see these little mountain goat things, and I'm pretty sure we don't have them in the US. And then when I try to take a picture of them, usually they're gone or I'm not paying attention and I just see them running away. So today I brought an actual camera up here and I'm gonna see if I can get some video. So I came up just like a couple hundred meters in the valley and I spotted one up on the side of the, the grocery meat. So let's see if I can get some video of it. He's kind of up there behind a tree a little bit. So I'm gonna get this shot and then move. See if I can get a better one. But it's a pretty big one too. I actually didn't think I was gonna find one that fast at all. I was kind of thinking that I probably wouldn't see one at all today just because it, the cloud cover is so dense. I'm going to try to move up further up on the hill here and uh, see if I can get a better angle. It's kind of hanging out behind that tree. So I've kind of moved up on a ridge right beside them here. And uh, the one I saw before is right there. Um, and then there's a second one up on this side. And they absolutely know that I'm here. I'm not trying to be super quiet or anything. Um, but there's so many hikers. There's a hiking trail right below us here. Uh, they're pretty used to having people around. These little goats that I'm trying to film are called Gemse. At least that's the German word for it. Probably the much more popular name is Chamois, which is the French word for them. Although if you're an American, you may have heard the word Chamie. Chamie and Chamois are the exact same word. One is just an American trying to read French. So I've moved up a little bit higher on my ridge here and uh, they're across from me, a little bit below. And they're just kind of chilling out. I guess there's only two of them here. This small goat-like animal originates in Europe and East Asia. Although at some point, a small herd was brought to New Zealand. Currently, they're thought to have a population of about 400,000 in Europe. And that small herd that was introduced to New Zealand has grown to about 130,000. So those two are still down there by those trees and I've been filming them for, I don't know, half an hour or something like that. So I think it's time for me to move along and see what else I can find. It's been several weeks and I'm finally just getting back up to the Swisher meeting. So last time I saw them uh, right up on the side of the mountain here, but today I think I'm gonna try going up on the Kleiner Meet and this one right up behind me. I've seen them up there before, so I know at least sometimes they're up there, and I think they might be up there today because there are so many hikers. It's a Sunday, and uh, this is a very popular place just because it's so beautiful, it's easy to access. There's a lot of people here. A couple seconds after I just said that I was gonna go up onto the uh, Kleiner Meet to see if there were any up there, uh, I see one right there. Um, uh, maybe a hundred meters under the cliff face or so. I'm gonna see if I can get a good image of it, but um, it's a long ways. So he's down here just kind of hanging out, which uh, seems like a bad place to hang out. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of falling rocks right there and there's no grass, but uh, whatever, I guess. So I got up to the kind of the ridge of the Swisher meeting, which is right down there where the cross is. And I was just kind of looking around, scanning the sides of the mountains, the grocer meeting up here. Uh, the guy there is like, oh, they're right up there. I guess he saw my tripod and just uh, knew what I was looking for. So with his help, I found one here. Um, it's kind of a tree in the way, but uh, I might try to maneuver and see if I can get a better video. Gemza do not like the heat. They prefer much cooler temperatures. And for that reason, you'll often find them high up in the mountains. Although in the winters when the snow is deep and there's less food for them to find, they will drop down into the valleys. 
I'm now pretty high up on the Kleiner meeting. You can see the, the false peak is right up there above me. Uh, and then there's just kind of this meadow. And this is kind of where I was hoping that they would be hanging out in this meadow. And I think they probably were earlier today. And as I came up, there's a couple that just went right into the woods right there. So there's still one lying under the tree. I've got my camera set up just in case they move, but really I can't see very much. So our view here is kind of looking uh, south towards Italy. Um, and you can see all the Alps. They've got a little bit of snow now, which is pretty cool to see. Uh, and then right across the valley here, that's Stos. That's um, a little Carlos town. It's pretty cool. And then down here is Brunen, uh, which is the home of Victorinox, the uh, Swiss Army knife. But uh, this guy in the woods here is not wanting to move. He's pretty happy chilling out there. And uh, my son has left. So I think it's time for me to pack up and head home. It's been a few more weeks, it's now late November, and I'm back again. As you can see, we have a little bit of snow. It's pretty awesome. It makes it even more beautiful up here, so I'm hoping to get some good shots. I'm uh, working my way up the valley here, looking around to see if I see anything, but uh, so far, no luck. Came up a little bit further, and I was getting a little bit worried that they had all gone down below the snow line. But then I saw one up here on the Kleiner Meeting, uh, close to where I saw one last time. So it's pretty cool, they're up here. So as I was sitting there filming, some hikers came along from uh, up on the Kleiner meeting. And uh, they were like, there's a bunch up there and it's super pretty, you gotta go up there. So I'm on my way. Not bad. So I've come a little ways up the Kleiner meeting here and uh, it's super beautiful. And I've seen a couple, but just like glimpses of them in the trees and there's none out in the open. As I was coming down off the Kleiner meeting, uh, I saw one across on the Grosser meeting, just kind of hanging out there, trying to get beneath the snow looking for grass. And I think this is a great example of what I've learned from my first wildlife filming experience, is that uh, range is what you need. I'm sitting all the way across the valley. The animal maybe knows that I'm here, but isn't bothered. So I've got all the time in the world to get my shot, get what I want, it's not the best shot in the world, and I think I could really benefit from a longer zoom lens. But I think range is the way to go. I know the Gemse is very well known in Switzerland, and for that matter, around the world. But for me, it's pretty cool, and I really enjoyed trying to film it. And maybe after the snow melts, I'll try again next year. Check this out, the sun coming through the fog there on those iced over trees, pretty beautiful. But I think it's time for me to go. I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.